This is the Panasonic KX-TGM450S. In this video, we will go over the unboxing and setup process, discuss the handset button descriptions, as well as the base unit button descriptions. This is the Panasonic KX-TGM 450S. When you receive your phone, it will come in a box like this. You'll need to unbox it. There may be some packaging tape to keep this lid securely closed, so we'll need to remove that. And then Panasonic's giving you instructions on how to rebox the unit. And in the box, you'll have some literature, the user guide, the handset, the wall mount adapter. and the main unit, which has the power supply connected, and the telephone line connected for you. User guide, wall mount, handset, additional literature in the main unit. You'll want to remove the protective film that covers the base unit buttons. Also remove the film from your caller ID screen from the handset. And the handset includes a pull tab so you can activate your batteries. Simply pull this tab out and on the base of the unit there's also batteries in this compartment. You'll want to pull this battery tab, pull down, and that activates the base unit. It's a good idea to determine whether you want the phone base mounted to the telephone wall jack or if you want it left on a base unit or if you want it left on a tabletop. The wall mount is connected by two screws on your telephone wall plate and before you untie your cords, it's a good idea to decide if you want to wall mount the telephone base or if you want it left on a desktop. Once you have the telephone connected to electricity and the telephone line, make sure that the handset charges in the base unit overnight at least 12 hours to make sure that the batteries have a full charge. If you decide that you want to mount the base to your telephone wall plate, remove the handset from the base unit, take the base unit, disconnect the power supply, and also disconnect the telephone line cord. Because you'll need to have them disconnected from the base unit to install the wall mount. It's a good idea to first run 
the telephone line cord and the power supply cord through the top of the wall mount. Once you have those routed and connected to the back of the phone, then you can match the A and B clips to the A and B clips on the back of the base unit. Make sure your cords are clear and straight out and you can push so these two clips connect back here on these other hooks in the base unit. Now you can route the cords, one through this side of the crevice and one through this side of the crevice depending on where your electrical outlet is located. Now we're ready to mount this on the wall. Now that we have the wall mount connected to the telephone base, we can then plug in the telephone line cord to the telephone jack. Make sure to reroute the electrical adapter wire through the crevice in the wall mount right here. Then we just place the wall mount on top of these two posts on the telephone jack. Then, connect the electrical adapter to the electrical outlet. The handset has a couple of different buttons on the side. The top one is called Tone, and the bottom button is a volume up or down increase volume or decrease volume. When you press either one of those buttons, there's a registration or an indication on the display as to what tone setting or volume you're adjusting. If we press the volume button, we can set the ringer for the handset. You can also turn it completely off. If we're on a call, we can increase the volume by pressing the plus button. And as we press that button, the volume will increase up to 15. If we would like to boost that even higher to get into the amplified telephone range, we can press the boost button right here at the bottom. And when we do this, we now see a range from 12 to 50. As we increase, the volume will increase up to 50 decibels. This is the speakerphone button so that you can have a full duplex speakerphone in the handset. You can make and receive calls using the speakerphone. This is the boost button. This increases the volume up to 50 decibels. And this is the slow speech button. If you're speaking with someone that's talking too fast, 
you can slow their speech down in real time by simply pressing the slow button. To turn the auto boost feature on, press the menu button. followed by the pound key and the digits 782. Once you have entered this information, you will be able to select the auto boost feature to be turned on or off. Use the up arrow key on the round center button on the handset and move the arrow one position up and then select save from the menu and press the red off button. The handset will now be in permanent boost mode and you will never need to press the boost button to activate the amplification. On this side of the handset there's also a headset jack which can be accessed through it a rubber pull down and inside here is the headset jack. On top is a red light that will flash when you have an incoming call. And on the back is a belt clip so you can take this with you when you're moving around the home. And inside is the battery compartment. Make sure that you use rechargeable batteries and not alkaline batteries in the handset. The first set of buttons we'll discuss are the M1, M2, and M3 buttons. These three buttons are speed dial buttons that you can program for frequently called numbers. Use the ringer off button to turn the ringer on the base unit on or off. When the ringer button is illuminated, it is off or when the button is not illuminated, the ringer is on. To turn the answering machine on or off, press the answer on off button. Answer off. Answer on. Thursday, 1, 15 a.m. To play any messages that are on your answering machine, Press the play stop button. No message. If you'd like to answer an incoming call on the speakerphone that's built into the base unit, you can press the speakerphone button or SP phone button. If you misplace your handset, you can press the locator slash intercom button to locate the missing handset. To adjust the ringer on the base unit, you can press the volume plus or minus button to increase the volume or decrease the ringer volume. You can use the locator slash intercom button to page the handset for an intercom call. Hello, this is the other handset. Go ahead.
Hello? How can I help you? Yes, I can take your order. Go ahead. Hello? Yes? I can take your order. To make a call from the handset, you can simply dial the number Then press the talk button, and the number will be dialed. Or you can press the talk button to obtain a dial tone. Once you have the dial tone, you can dial the number. Please make sure that when replacing the base unit batteries that you only use rechargeable batteries. Do not use alkaline batteries in the base unit.